DAL Tools has partnered with CAD Enhance to extend the capabilities of the DAL HDL tool suite while eliminating the need for the PCB editor to provide the GUI interface. A historically tedious chore for a design engineer has been manually connecting signals to the pins of a CPLD or FPGA schematic symbol while cross-checking the pin names and pin numbers against the pin report file from the PLD vendor. The extended pin wire function gives the designer the capability to rapidly and accurately connect programmable logic devices from Altera, Lattice, and Xilinx using their native pin reports. With pin wire, the designer selects the appropriate pin report for the device and then automatically adds groups of properly named wires between the symbol and off pages with a few select mouse clicks. The pin wire GUI consists of five main sections, the part options, FPGA report file selection, signal naming options, the execute buttons, and the status window. The part options section lets the designer select what part will be connected at the end of an automatically named wire. The selections include off pages, hierarchical ports, resistors, or capacitors. The version of each part can also be selected. For the PLD case, we will use off pages with automatic versions. The FPGA report file selections provides the means to choose the appropriate PLD pin report file that will be read to figure out the signal names and off-page port directions. In the signal naming options menu, we can choose to add a prefix and or suffix to each signal name. We choose the source of the signal name, and in this case we choose the pin name from the FPGA report. We enable vectorizing of the signal names so that the signal names will be added as valid Allegro HDL bus names. And we skip adding signal names for power pins. We use the run button in the execute section to start the auto naming process. When we click run, Allegro HDL will prompt us for three mouse clicks. The first two draw a box to surround the pins we want to connect, and the third one sets where the wires will end and the selected part will be added. The undo button can be used to undo the last operation, which may have added up to 50 plus wires. The status window details the progress of operations. Let's see how it works. First we add the symbols. For this demo, we are using a small lattice CPLD, a Mach XO256, in a 100-pin TQFP package. The symbols for this part were previously built by the CAD Enhanced Part Builder tool. It is a very simple part split into two symbols, but the techniques we are using here are applicable to much larger parts broken into many symbols. Now we start Pinwire. We can use the DAL Tools menu or a command in the console. The main GUI pops up. We choose Pinwire, and then the Pinwire GUI pops up. Next, we select the lattice pin report. We use the file browser, and I pop back up to my lattice pad files and pick the JTAG CPLD.pad file. And then we make sure we are using pin name for the FPGA from the FPGA pin report. Now we connect the pins on the right side of the part. We click run, and we get prompted to create a box around the pins that we want to connect. I move that out of the way, create my box, and I'm going to highlight the prompts down there. We create the box, and now we get prompted to click where we want the wire to end. So we're going to drag out to the right over here and click, and the wires get magically added. Now we add the left side pins. We pop the pin wire GUI back up, move it, click run, and we follow the prompts create a box around the pins we want to name, and then we click out to the left where we want the wires to end. And now let's verify the signal names that were added. We'll pop up the GUI, and then we'll hit the edit button so we can see the pin, pin report comes up and then we'll move it so we can see the pins and the symbol at the same time. And then we'll look at this pin 51 and we see HIB TDI and we see it matches in the report. Now we'll slide down to the bottom pin, pin 100 there, and we'll pop up the report again. And we see FPJ TCK0 
and we can see that we added a uh, bus member, so the angle bracket zero, because we vectorized. We're going to go to the pin 50 now on this corner, the lower left hand corner. We see JT connect CDI on pin 50, and then let's slide up to the top and verify pin 1. And we'll find it in the pin report, and we can see it's PPC TDI out. And here we highlight the directions of the off pages are automatically configured by Pinwire after reading the CPLD report. And the missing pins are those that were not used in the CPLD report. Thanks for watching this demonstration. For a further demo, please visit the Dow Tools booth at PCB West 2016 or contact Bill O'Leary at Cadenhance using boleary at cadenhance.com.